Supporters of the constitutional amendment say it will put victims on equal footing with the accused, whose rights are already in the Constitution. Constitutional rights always trump a victim's statutory rights. The lack of equity creates an imbalance within our system. The governor is among the amendment's supporters. The time is right uh, to put the emphasis where it needs to be and provide the protections for these citizens uh, as they so deserve. Some of the rights enumerated include the right to be notified of all proceedings and to have input. A victim of childhood sexual abuse telling senators she often felt forgotten. As a survivor, I know what it feels like to be invisible and to feel like you don't matter. None of us ever choose to be a victim and you never expect that it will happen to you. The amendment does not have universal support. Citing a recent state survey, defense lawyer Robin Malone believes this is unnecessary. 99% of victims state that they feel they've been treated with fairness and respect. And Malone says the language in the amendment needs further study. It's unclear what would happen if we are in a situation where the rights of a victim are asserted and they do directly conflict with the rights of a defendant. Supporters insist this would not impact the rights of the defendant and again is about putting the victim on equal footing. Passing Marcy's law will give them a measure of peace and perhaps give them some control over their lives again. The governor is calling on lawmakers to get behind this amendment, saying it needs to pass by a wide margin to show the citizens of New Hampshire the clear message that this is enjoying widespread support among lawmakers when they eventually vote on it come November. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.